Wait, do you hear this? In 1929, a group of historians found an amazing map drawn on a gazelle skin. Research showed that it was a genuine document drawn in 1513 by Perry Reis, a famous admiral of the Turkish fleet in the 16th century. His passion was cartography. His high rank with the Turkish Navy allowed him to have a privileged access to the Imperial Library of Constantinople. The Turkish admiral admits in a series of notes on the map that he compiled and copied the data from a large number of source maps, some of which dated back to the 4th century BC or earlier, and or thought to have been documents saved from the legendary library of Alexandria. Potentially one of the most significant finds of modern time as it is clearly dated 1513 AD and shows both the coastlines of the American and the Antarctic coastline, which is thought to have been frozen for at least 6,000 years. This map alters all previous conceptions of our prehistoric ancestors' abilities. The Perry Reese map is one of several Portolanos, which appears to have a geometric basis of unknown provenance. It has several interesting features which deserves investigation. The legend on the map itself revealed that it was a section of a world map composed from more than 20 source maps drawn in the time of Alexander the Great. A connection existed between this map and several other ancient Portolanos, some of which include the outline of the Antarctic continent. These facts led to suggestions of the existence of knowledge from a time before the Greeks and placed a question mark over the origin and age of civilization and indeed if this information belonged to a lost civilization like the Atlanteans. The Perry Reese map shows the western coast of Africa, the eastern coast of South America, and the northern coast of Antarctica. The northern coastline of Antarctica is perfectly detailed. The most puzzling part, however, is not so much how Perry Reese managed to draw such an accurate map of the Antarctic region 300 years before it was discovered, but that the map shows the coastline free from ice. Geological evidence confirms that the last date Antarctica could have been charted in an ice-free state is 4000 BC. The official science has been saying all along that the ice cap which covers the Antarctic is million years old. The Reese map shows that the northern part of the continent has been mapped before the ice did cover it. That should suggest it has been mapped millions years ago. But that's impossible since our civilization did not exist in that time, right? The question is, who mapped the Queen Maud land of Antarctica 6,000 years ago? Which unknown civilization had the technology or the need to do that? In July 1960, a United States Air Force commander made the following statement regarding an evaluation of the map. Your request of evaluation of certain unusual features of the Perry Reese map of 1513 by this organization has been reviewed. The claim that the lower part of the map portrays the Prince Martha coast of Queen Maud Land and Arctic and the Palmer Peninsula is reasonable. We find that this is the most logical and in all probability the correct interpretation of the map. The geographical detail shown in the lower part of the map agrees very remarkably with the results of the seismic profile made across the top of the ice cap by the Swedish-British Antarctic Expedition of 1949. This indicates the coastline had been mapped before it was covered by the ice cap. The ice cap in this region is now about a mile thick. We have no idea how the data of this map can be reconciled with the supposed state of geographical knowledge in 1513. Astronomers have concluded that it takes a century for the Tropic of Cancer to drift 40 seconds of latitude. This gives us a formula for our calculations and enables us to bullseye the date when the original map makers were at work. Cyane is 38 minutes and 30 seconds from today's Tropic of Cancer. This is 2,280 plus the 30 seconds gives us a total of 2,310 seconds difference. We then divide these seconds by 40 to find the Cyane was last on the Tropic of Cancer some 57.75 centuries ago. 
by calculating the difference in distance from the latitude of today's Tropica Cancer to that of Cyane, we discover the answer. About 5.775 years ago, that is circa 3760 BC, it is noteworthy that the Jewish calendar begins on this date. The projection of the Peri Reis points like an arrow at a pivotal turning point in human history. Archaeology teaches that Egyptian civilization dawned circa 3800 BC. Can it really be mere coincidence that the Peri Reis map looks to date from the dawn of Egyptian civilization? Far more likely that the sophisticated source maps used by Peri Reis are remnants passed on by the survivors of a lost Ice Age civilization, a seafaring civilization that had mapped the world long before the emergence of the dynastic Egyptians. Plenty of mystery surrounds this map. There is no doubt it was created using maps from a lost ancient civilization and probably from documents and texts recovered from the Library of Alexandria. This is yet but another piece of the puzzle with obvious information looking us right in the face, yet we are still trying to explain it away using the flawed education process we have been brainwashed with. What do you guys think of this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.